Luke chapter 5 and verse 31. And Yahweh shall answering said unto them, They that are whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Shalom, Master Allah. Peace, Israel. Barakatay Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Call Halayim Lai Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Yahweh Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. All right, who do teach and rule well. Peace, love, and bless to the elect. I'm the brother Yakal from Prophets in Babylon, Sarasota, which is a branch of the Prophets in Babylon Temple Church. Shalom to those brothers. And today, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, I'm back with Lord willing and edifying less to defeat the sheep who believe on those names in truth and in sincerity. Shalom to your families. And um, today's lesson, man, you know, basically going into how, hey, bro, we need a healer, bro. All right. We need a healer, man. We need somebody to liberate us. All right. Deliver us from this wicked flesh. And that somebody is none other than Yahweh Shai. He's going to be the one who delivers us from this bondage. Okay. This, this body of corruption, this body of death. All right. Because they were in prison, man. All right. This body is, is a is a prison cell for our spirits because our spirits were created, you know, to be, you know, we were created to basically be immortal, man. All right. What is what is that? Was the Solomon, the most I have made uh, the Israelite man to be an image of his own eternity. But through disobedience, all right, we were cast down into these everlasting chains of darkness into the judgment of the great day, which is the day where Yahweh Shai comes back. OK, and destroy America and delivers his elect. Matter of fact, I'm going to grab that preset right here. This is uh, Jude chapter one and verse uh, six. And it says the angels which kept not their first estate was that perfection. All right. Immortality, man. All right. If we are the elect brothers, we are those angels. All right. We are those angels which kept not that first estate. OK, but the Lord, he's going to you know, deliver us and we're going to be glorified again with him. Lord willing, we be the elect, man. It says, and the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation. He hath reserved an everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. All right. That great day is the day when Yahweh Shah comes back. He's going to crack those clouds and he's going to destroy Babylon. He's going to deliver his elects from the four corners of the earth. All right. And we're going to be delivered from this bondage of corruptions, man. All right. This, 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 um, this prison that we are in. Okay. Because we in prison, bro. You know, hey. What Apostle Paul say, the things that he would do, he do not. And the things that he don't want to do, that he do. So that's a prison. Okay, because this flesh, okay, is, is, is in, uh, inherently wicked. King David said that. He said, in sin did my mother conceive me. All right. In sin did my mother conceive me. So we, we were born. We were born in wickedness. We were born into wickedness. A lot of our, a lot of us, you know, some of us, all right, were born through adultery. You know what I'm saying? We would, we were just born into all different types of fucked up scenarios, man. And this is the lowest that we have ever been as a nation, as a people. And guess what? The Lord is about to deliver us, and He's about to bring us back to perfection. Now, I'm getting tired of this stinking ass plane, man. I do a video, you know. We'll start flying around and stuff. Probably a drone, man. Who knows? I'm getting tired of seeing Esau punk ass in the air too, man. But yeah, like I was saying, we were just born in all types of messed up situations, man. Born into all types of messed up situations. Born into adultery. Born into wickedness. You know? And the Lord, you gotta, he, he got to heal us as a nation, man. We all got to be healed, man. Even the two-thirds of the nation of Israel, they got to be healed too. Um, let's try to find this preset right quick. Going to uh, the healing in his wings because you know we need that man. My, my, Malachi four verse two, but as you that for my name, shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and the healing is gonna, the healing you know the Lord is gonna heal us by way of beaming us up into those chariots and giving us new bodies, man. He's gonna heal us. All right, that's the healing in his wings. And ye shall go forth and grow up as cows of the stall. Right? So we're going to, you know, we're going to grow and we're going to flourish. But see, right now, man, we ain't flourishing right now. We we all jacked up. We under these curses. We all, we, we plagued mentally. You can't think straight. 
You know what I'm saying? You can't think straight. You can't you can't function how you would like to. We all jacked up, bro. We all jacked up as a people, man. But the Lord going to change that, bro. He going to change it, bro. He going to change all that, man. He going to heal us as a people. Matthew 1 and 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people from their sins. So the Lord is going to save his people from their sins, man. He's going to save us. He's going to deliver us from our sins. He's going to deliver us from our sins. He's going to save us. He's going to cleanse us. Right now, two-thirds of the nation of Israel, they ain't going to make it. But the elect, all right, they're going to be the first fruits of the promise. They're going to be the first fruits of immortality. And then two-thirds are going to come back through their loins. And they're going to be made perfect too. So the Lord's going to have mercy ultimately upon the whole nation, man. He's going to have mercy upon the whole nation of Israel. We all going to be good in the kingdom. We're going to be all, we're going to be rejoicing. We're going to be, a, we're going to be a heavenly people, bro. We're going to be good. We're going to be established. We're going to be established as a nation. Peace. All right. We're going to receive peace. Peace, man. We're going to receive rest from our labors. We're going to receive rest. We won't even know what that word rest means, bro. Rest. <laughs> man, we won't even understand the fullness of that word rest because we don't got no damn rest. Pursuant to uh, Micah 2 and verse 10, arise ye in the park for this is not your rest. It is polluted and it shall destroy you. Surely with the sore destruction. And then it tells you in Hebrews that what? There remained therefore a rest to the people of the Lord. Rest, man. We're going to be able to rest. We're going to enter into the into an eternal rest. All right. We've been beaten down long enough as a nation. We've been beaten down. We've been trodden under. We've been raped. We have been robbed. We have been murdered. We have been lied to. Okay. Now it's time for us to enter into our rest. Now it's time for us to relax, man. I was talking to a family member today, and I was just telling them how basically um, Jake had to uh, Jake had to pick cotton until the, until they seen the bone on their fingers, man. But that's that's that is pure hell, man. But see, the Lord is gonna he's gonna he's gonna liberate us from all of that. He's gonna deliver us from all of that, including these bodies. All right, that's gonna that's the first blessing, man, is being delivered from these chains of corruption. Because, you know, what did it tell you in uh, Corinthians? <clears throat> this is uh, 1 Corinthians 15 and verse um, 50. Start of verse 49. It says that we have borne the image of the earthy. We shall also bear the image of the heavenly, yeah, because the heavenly, you know, it doesn't die. You don't die. You know, and it's, you know, the angels, okay, the, the left hand side demons, you know, even the spirits that are in the spirit realm, they don't, they don't die. You know, spirits don't die. So it's 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 everlasting, right? So we have born the image of the earthy, which is what? Death. We're going to bear the image of the heavenly, which is life. It says, Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. Neither doth corruption inherit incorruption, right? So we're going to be changed. That's that's the that's the ultimate blessing is being changed because the Lord can give us a kingdom, right? But what's the point of getting a, getting the kingdom, an everlasting kingdom, if you're not everlasting yourself? That's what's going to make the kingdom that much better because not only is the kingdom everlasting, we're going to be everlasting too. You see, these elites, <laughs> they have a kingdom that's not everlasting. Neither are they everlasting. And let's say. You know, let's say, uh, not nah, forget it, but yeah, they have a kingdom that's not everlasting. Neither are they everlasting, but we're going to have an everlasting kingdom and we're going to have everlasting bodies to enjoy that everlasting kingdom. Our kids are going to have everlasting bodies. We ain't going to have to die and come back. <laughs> that's what I was going to say with Edom. He got to die and come back and enjoy his rulership. We ain't going to have to do that. We're going to have, we're going to have a perpetual rule. You see, we're going to be ruling forever. We ain't going to have to die and be translated. No, nah, it's good. Once we in the kingdom, we, we in the kingdom forever. And the Lord is going to slow down time. Come on, dog. That's mercy. See? But first and foremost, we got to be changed, man. We got to be changed. You look at Jake. Go on, world, go on world Star Hip Hop, man. 
And you, you that just, you know, that gives you all the more reason of why we have to be changed, man. All right. We have to be changed out of this flesh because if we if we don't be changed, we'll just continually go through this cycle of, you know, the Lord bringing us back to Israel. And, you know, we falling away and the Lord bringing us back and we falling away. So the Lord said, you know what? This time I'm going to do something different. I'm going to write my laws in your inward parts so you so you so you're going to keep my commandments forever. That way I don't have to put you out the land. I'm going to make you keep my commandments. I'm going to make you be I'm going to make you be righteous, which was the plan from the get go. But the Lord wanted us to experience wickedness so we can appreciate righteousness that much more. A great example of that, you look at these spoiled fucking uh, Edomites, right? You look at these spoiled ass brats and what they do. You know what I'm saying? They never had to work a day in their life. So once their parents uh, give them an inheritance, one, they, they, don't, they don't know how to rule over it. And two, they don't appreciate it, man, because they've been spoiled their whole life. But how much more when you've been beaten down, when you've been oppressed, when you've been, you know, through all types of scenarios of hell and then your father finally gives you an inheritance, you're going to appreciate it that much more, man. We're going to appreciate the kingdom that much more, bro. All right. We're going to be changed, man. We about to be changed, bro. That's the day that we supposed to haste and look forward to. Titus. Titus 2 and verse 13. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and the Savior. Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. So looking for that blessed hope. Looking for that blessed hope. What do we hope in? We hope in salvation. You Christians don't know what the hell you're talking about. I'm talking about I'm saved, I'm saved. You saved from what? What you saved from? <laughs> we the ones that need to be saved, man. All right. Verse 14, it says, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity. There we go. And what's iniquity? Sin upon sin. And purify, and purify unto himself. Let's go into that word purify. And it says, remove contaminants from okay make clean he's going to make us clean bro we're going to be clean again all right and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works all right zealous of good works man so hey brothers we about to be man we about to be brought back into power bro the lord about to deliver us and we about to have a kingdom man and it's going to be fun we're going to be able to enjoy our families. Right now, you don't got the time to enjoy your wife. You don't got the time to enjoy yourself. <laughs> you don't got time to spend time with your, uh, your sons and daughters. You know what I'm saying? We working all the fucking time. You know, stressed out. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? So, hey, bro, the Lord about to take us from all that, bro. So, I'm not going to do this uh, for too long. I'm going to close out by saying, call her like I'm like, how about she mouth shy? Shalom, wa barakim, laha bakayar, shalom, shalom, All right. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel, man. Peace, blessings, and mercy. Shalom, wa barakim, wa kasayim, laha bakayar, shalom, shalom, man. Peace, love, blessings. Peace, love, blessings, and mercy to the elect of Israel, man, because we need mercy, man. Next time, shalom.